Hi friends, I'm Geography Girl Janie with Around the World in Homeschool Days. Today I have a book for you about a musician, Strange Mr. Satie by M.T. Anderson, illustrated by Petra Mathers. Eric Satie was a musician and wrote beautiful piano music, which I am fond of, but I did not know very much about him as a person. And this book describes him as um, having a pretty bad temper, being very unusual. He had to drop out of school and then he went back later. And I think that showed pretty good perseverance. Here is where he plays his most famous pieces for piano, the Gymnopedes. And of course, I would recommend uh, having your kids listen to these works by Eric Satie, which you can find on YouTube usually. He finally found friends at the Paris Salon. And let's see, there were there are two things that I want to bring to your attention, which were shocking to me when I was reading this out loud. Apparently he had a really bad temper and he pushed his sort of girlfriend out the window. Now she had been a circus acrobat, so she was okay, miraculously, but um, this was, it was just shocking to me. Like, wow, thank goodness she was okay because he would have been, um, the course of his life would have been changed forever. So let's not let our tempers get the worst of us. The other thing is that he had really bad critiques written about his music at first. And he wrote back to a critic, let me find the page. Sir, dear friend, you are not only a butt, but a butt without music. Um, you could choose just not to read this postcard. My, I have three boys and a girl, and I think they laughed for two or three minutes. Um, <laughs> you don't usually see that in a book. I thought it was funny too but just giving you a heads up in case you don't use words like that in your house. Another interesting fact was that he collaborated with Pablo Picasso and Picasso did the set design for this. I thought that was fascinating. Definitely um, watching the ballet afterwards or seeing pictures of the set design would enhance learning about Eric Satie. There's a long author's note at the end talking about his famous works, those ballets that were referenced in the in this book, and then the composers he influenced. So I always try to read the author's notes to the children, but if they are just done because perhaps the book was long or perhaps they um, had other things that they were planning to do, then then of course I don't force them to sit and read and I just read it myself. So if you go to my website under France, I will have a YouTube playlist to help you as you read this book. You could play it in the background. You could play the works as they are mentioned in the book. You could just play it at another time as background music. I often try to uh, play background music as my kids are just playing Legos or maybe doing some art if we have an art project going on and everything is quiet and good. I'll play some music in the background and say, oh, remember that book about Satie? This is Satie's music. And then I'll ask them, what did you think? Did it sound the way the book described? How Eric Satie's music was simple yet complicated, happy yet sad, and vice versa. So I hope that that YouTube playlist will be helpful for you. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please give me a like and a subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos.